in the show, one of the things I appreciated was watching the astronauts uh, taking something with them when in their journey, like a, a photograph or a lucky charm, uh, and, and taking that taking that with them to remind themselves of home in that journey. So I was I was I was curious to know uh, you guys if you guys will be going on that journey right now. What would you what you what would you take with you uh, and why? My dogs. No explanation <laughs> needed. Great answer. <laughs> What are you about you, Miss Bateman? Um, it's really hard because I would I wouldn't take a physical advice or device or anything like that. I wouldn't take something physical either. I would definitely take just my family. I just can't imagine <laughs> leaving my family for three years. <laughs> I would be devastated. Uh, those are great picks. Uh, throughout history, uh, film history or TV uh, history, we've had great space films or, or shows led by women. For example, Contact or Alien or Star Wars, even. So, and now you guys are doing it with a way. So, do you feel it's more more important than ever to have women leading the charge in stories like this, like this one, and, and that's going to be watched by millions of people around the world on Netflix soon? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just nice to see, uh, you know, that art is reflecting life because women are in positions like this all over. Um, it just hasn't been very often that they've been depicted in. Um, you know, in storytelling, but it's not just women. It's so nice to also see different races um, yes. being represented and the, the uh, inclusivity of all different walks of life that makes it so colorful that um, are, are happen to also be reflected in the show. I will say, I don't think it's more important than ever. I think it has always been important. I think it's just now starting to happen more and more. And I think it's really cool that we are representing that in shows and movies more often. But I think it definitely was it was always important to to history and to be that way, but yeah. So uh, one of the most popular answers when, when, when asked this, uh, when, when you're a kid and you're growing up, uh, what did you want to be? What do you wish to be when you grow up? And, and astro being an astronaut was, is one of the all time most popular answers. So I was curious to know uh, what you guys wanted to be when you were uh, uh, younger, like when you wanted to like grow up. By the way, I like that you say that to Letha, to, to Letha, who's like an age that most people don't know what they want to be yet. Um, mm -hmm. And she's definitely, sorry, to Letha, you are kind of grown up, but you're not really grown up. <laughs> 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 but um, I, I wanted to be an astronaut. Kind of cliche, nice. like you said, before I wanted to be an actor. So now it's nice to at least play one. But go ahead, Talitha, you you tell your side. Oh my gosh, what do you think? Um, I mean... I think I wanted to be a ballerina. Nice. <laughs> that was what I wanted to be. Uh, yeah, or a veterinarian. I wanted to be a ballerina or a veterinarian. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, before letting you guys go, uh, Miss Wong, you've, you've had such an amazing career. Uh, memorable performances like in uh, Boys Don't Cry and Million Dollar Baby. Such a fan. So uh, I recently saw you kicking ass in The Hunt, which was awesome. And now you're in space. So is that. there... Is your son? Is there something, or is there a genre that you haven't done yet? Because you seem like you can do anything. So, is there a genre that you haven't uh, touched on that you want to maybe tackle in the future? Like uh, maybe a genre, a subgenre. Um, first of all, thank you. Those are really nice compliments. Oh. I really appreciate it. Um, I think you know I would like to do some more um, like action stuff. I really liked it. Um, um, Oh, gosh, I forgot this movie I just watched. Um, it was actually on Netflix. Uh, yeah, the, the old guard. Extraction. Extraction. Extraction, yeah, with Chris Hemsworth. Oh, my Hemsworth, gosh, yeah. what a ride. Maybe you should get in between Chris Hemsworth and Charlie Theron and something in Netflix. Yeah, maybe. That'd be like awesome. The three of us. It would be fun, <laughs> yeah. I actually just uh, met with the director, and I was like, that was so Ooh. cool. How about maybe getting touching, you know, maybe getting into maybe superhero movies, which are really popular nowadays, maybe DC or Marvel. Is that something that you'd be interested sure. in? Sure. I'm open to awesome. anything. I love, uh, I love, I love being a storyteller, no matter what, whether that's just something you can relate to or something that you learn from or something that entertains, like, great. <laughs> 